In the year 2010, a man named Adam and his beloved wife, Ava, lived in the vibrant and culturally rich country of Mexico. Adam, a dedicated manager in a bustling company, found himself engrossed in the demands of his professional life. Despite the challenges, the couple shared a profound passion for the seaside, picnics, and swimming. As Adam toiled through his demanding workdays, Ava, his lovely wife, often found herself at home with idle hours. This sometimes led to shifts in her behavior as she navigated the solitude in her husband's absence. The couple's connection, however, remained anchored in their shared love for the sea, picnics, and the joy of swimming. One fateful day, Adam's company declared a much-needed holiday, offering a respite from the burdens of work. Excited about the prospect of spending quality time together, Adam shared his plan with Ava during a dinner conversation. Ava's eyes lit up with excitement as she eagerly joined in the preparations for a seaside adventure. They decided on a beautiful location on the Mexican coast, and their plans quickly took shape. With the date set for their getaway, Adam and Ava began the countdown to their much-anticipated break. They packed their bags with essentials, stocked up on food and drinks for the picnic, and ensured they had the perfect swimming attire. Ava, in particular, was thrilled at the prospect of a new adventure and enthusiastically documented their preparations. The day of the trip dawned with clear skies and palpable excitement. After a hearty breakfast, Adam loaded their belongings into the car, and the couple set out on their journey. The atmosphere in the car was filled with music, laughter, and the anticipation of creating cherished memories together. Ava captured the moments with her camera, preserving the joyous scenes of their journey. They arrived at the seaside location to find people and families enjoying the sand, sea, and sun. Adam, ever the planner, selected a perfect spot for their picnic, while Ava continued to document the unfolding moments. The couple reveled in the simple pleasures of good food, refreshing drinks, and the company of each other. As the day unfolded, Adam decided to take a refreshing swim in the sea. Many others on the beach followed suit changing into their swimwear and immersing themselves in the cooling waters. A sense of relaxation and joy permeated the air as people relished the freedom and tranquility the seaside offered. Meanwhile, Ava, feeling the urge to experience the sea more intimately, decided to venture into deeper waters. Unbeknownst to her, a chilling presence lurked beneath the surface. As she relieved herself in the deep water, three colossal tiger sharks, the apex predators of the ocean, sensed her presence. With their keen instincts, the sharks observed the human activity above the water. As Ava turned to make her way back to the shore, she was met with the shocking sight of three tiger sharks swimming toward her. Panic and fear set in as she realized the peril she was in. Ava swam frantically toward safety with all her strength, but the sharks were faster. One of the predators caught her leg in its powerful jaws, causing her to cry out in pain. Blood tainted the water as the sharks continued their assault on her body. The horrifying scene unfolded just beyond the view of the unsuspecting beachgoers. Adam, sensing something amiss, turned his attention to the water. The color of the sea had changed, and a sense of foreboding washed over him. He wasted no time, swiftly diving into the depths to rescue his wife. As he approached, he witnessed the brutal attack on Ava by the three tiger sharks. Undeterred by the danger, Adam reached Ava's side, his heart pounding with fear and determination. Despite sustaining minor injuries to his arm, he managed to hoist Ava's injured and bleeding body out of the water. The sharks, momentarily distracted, allowed the couple a narrow window of escape. With Ava in his arms, Adam swam back to the safety of the shore. The onlookers, now aware of the tragedy that had unfolded, rushed to their aid. The beach was overcome with a mix of shock, horror, and sympathy as they witnessed the aftermath of the shark attack. Efforts were made to get Ava to the nearest hospital, but tragically, her injuries were too severe. The doctors, with heavy hearts, delivered the devastating news of Ava's passing to Adam. Unbelieving and grief-stricken, Adam struggled to come to terms with the sudden and tragic loss of his beloved wife. The news of the shark attack spread rapidly, capturing the attention of the media. The incident served as a chilling reminder of the dangers that lurk beneath the serene surface of the sea. Adam, grappling with the trauma and loss, became a symbol of resilience as he faced the painful reality of life without Ava. The memory of that fateful day remained etched in Adam's mind, 
a haunting reminder of the fragility of life and the unexpected turns it can take. The beach, formerly a place of happiness and relaxation, changed into a somber one where the memories of a tragedy that had irrevocably changed Adam's life were still present. As time passed, Adam carried the weight of his grief, finding strength in the memories of the happy moments he shared with Ava. The ocean, once a source of joy for the couple, now held a bittersweet significance, a reminder of the love they shared and the tragedy that unfolded beneath its waves. In the annals of Mexican history, the tale of Annie, a spirited young university student, unfolds against the backdrop of her unbridled passion for surfing. Annie's journey takes a fateful turn when a seemingly idyllic seaside adventure with friends transforms into a tragic incident that leaves an indelible mark on the hearts of those who knew her. Annie's love affair with the waves began in her early years, raised in a close-knit family that embraced the beauty of Mexico's coastal landscapes. Annie developed an affinity for the water. The allure of surfing with its blend of adrenaline and tranquility captivated her from a young age. Her longing for the sea intensified as she progressed through her academic endeavors. The pivotal moment arrived in the bustling atmosphere of the university canteen. Annie and her cohort of friends, sharing a bond forged through shared interests and academic pursuits, conceived the idea of a seaside expedition. With the weight of impending final exams temporarily lifted, the group eagerly planned their getaway, setting the stage for an adventure that would alter the course of Annie's life. The chosen date, the 13th of February, loomed on the horizon. Exam pressure consumed the week leading up to their adventure, but the thought of the trip served as a source of joy. Annie, with her camera in tow and the promise of surfing on her mind, eagerly awaited the weekend. On the appointed day, the air buzzed with excitement as Annie and her friends set out on their journey. Exploration, laughter, and the anticipation of the experiences ahead punctuated the drive to the seaside. Upon reaching their destination after a three-hour drive, they selected a scenic spot for a picnic, reveling in the joys of camaraderie and the natural beauty that surrounded them. Having satisfied their hunger, Annie, the embodiment of vivacity, wasted no time heading towards the water, surfboard in hand. Little did she know that this carefree venture would soon descend into a harrowing ordeal that would test her resilience and the strength of the bonds that tied her to her friends. The tranquil scene shattered when three tiger sharks, majestic yet menacing, infringed upon the vicinity of Ani's surfing board. Oblivious to the looming danger beneath the surface, Ani continued to revel in the thrill of surfing, unaware that her passion had brought her into an unforeseen and perilous encounter. Chaos ensued as the sharks circled Ani, attacking her board and sending her crashing into the water. From the shore, her friends, paralyzed by the unfolding horror, immediately reached out to the seaside helpline for assistance. Annie, now in a struggle for her life, fought to swim to safety as the sharks inflicted severe injuries on her. The seaside helpline, a beacon of hope in times of crisis, sprang into action upon receiving the distress call. Trained to handle emergencies of this nature, the staff swiftly arrived at the scene, armed with tools to deter the sharks. The desperate search for A commenced, with her friends anxiously watching from the shore as the drama unfolded in the water. When the staff noticed Ani's reflection in the water, entangled in one of the tiger sharks, the seriousness of the situation became clear. With commendable courage and precision, they intervened, freeing Ani from the relentless grip of the predator. The rescue, though successful, revealed the extent of her injuries, and it was evident that time was of the essence. The helpline staff rushed Ani, who was now in critical condition, to the hospital. Her friends, overwhelmed by fear and concern, promptly informed her family of the tragic turn of events. The medical team, recognizing the urgency, worked tirelessly to stabilize Ani, but the combination of severe injuries and substantial blood loss proved insurmountable. Ani's passing reverberated through her family, friends, and the broader community. The honorable void is a poignant reminder of the fragility of life's most exhilarating pursuits. Annie's story serves as a witness to the unpredictable nature of life's adventures. What began as a joyous exploration of her passion culminated in a tragedy that echoed far beyond the shores where she once reveled in the waves. The grief-stricken community united in mourning, 
grappled with the harsh reality that a bright light had been extinguished too soon. In the aftermath of Ani's passing, her family, friends, and the seaside community rallied to celebrate her life and commemorate the spirit that defined her. Surfing, once a source of joy, now carried the weight of a bittersweet legacy, a reminder of a young soul who dared to embrace life's grandeur to its fullest. As time passed, Annie's story became more than a cautionary tale. It became a catalyst for change. The tragedy motivated the seaside community to focus more on spreading knowledge about the dangers of water sports and the significance of safety precautions. Ani's name became synonymous with a call for vigilance and responsibility in the pursuit of adventure. In the halls of academia, her friends and fellow students established a scholarship in her honor, ensuring that her legacy endured as a beacon of inspiration for future generations. The scholarship aimed to support students who shared Annie's passion for academic pursuits and adventurous endeavors, fostering a balance that mirrored her vibrant spirit. In the summer of 2008, a young man named Jack, at the age of 26, found himself entangled in a series of events that would forever change the course of his life. Jack, a routine-bound bank employee, yearned for excitement in his monotonous daily existence. Despite the mundane nature of his work, Jack held a secret passion for the sea, a love he shared with his equally adventurous girlfriend. Their shared enthusiasm for seaside escapades was rooted in their university days, when Jack had earned a reputation as a skilled and swift swimmer. His affinity for water became a defining aspect of his character, and the couple cherished the idea of spending extended periods by the ocean. However, the demands of daily life had kept them away from indulging in their shared passion for too long. One day, inspiration struck as Jack idly scrolled through his mobile phone. He decided it was high time for a grand adventure, a journey to the sea that would break the monotony of their lives. Excitedly, he shared his plan with his girlfriend, who wholeheartedly agreed. After many days of stagnation, the prospect of an adventurous trip injected a fresh sense of anticipation into their relationship. Setting their sights on the week of July 25th, Jack and his girlfriend eagerly prepared for their seaside expedition. Jack, buoyed by enthusiasm, packed their essentials. A camera, swimming attire, bags, and a set of carefully chosen provisions. The day arrived and Jack, ready and determined, picked up his girlfriend from her home. Reminiscences of cherished moments and a playlist that serenaded their trip started the journey. As they approached the sea, the sight of the vast expanse filled with people walking along the shore heightened their excitement. The couple strolled along the beach, taking in the beauty of the location. After a while, Jack, unable to contain his eagerness, changed into his swimwear and plunged into the water, leaving his girlfriend to enjoy the scene from the shore. Little did they know that this seemingly idyllic day would take a turn for the worse. In the depths of the ocean, three tiger sharks silently pursued Jack, who remained blissfully unaware of the impending danger. Suddenly the tranquil waters turned tumultuous as the sharks launched a coordinated attack on Jack's unsuspecting body. Panic ensued as Jack cried out for help, the once serene waters now tainted by the struggle for survival. From a nearby ship, onlookers witnessed the horrifying scene unfold. Recognizing the urgency, the ship's crew rushed to Jack's aid. Using specialized equipment, they managed to retrieve Jack from the clutches of the sharks, but the damage had been done. His body bore the brutal marks of the shark attack, leaving him in excruciating pain. The ship raced back to the shore where medical personnel awaited, ready to provide emergency assistance. Jack's girlfriend, who had been a helpless spectator, could hardly contain her anguish. Upon reaching the hospital, the severity of Jack's injuries became apparent. One of the sharks had attacked his neck, making breathing a struggle. Despite the best efforts of the medical team, Jack succumbed to his injuries, leaving a void of grief and disbelief in the hearts of those who knew him. The news of Jack's tragic demise rippled through the community and captured the attention of the media. Interviews with Jack's devastated girlfriend recounted the harrowing experience as the public grappled with the shocking reality of a life cut short in the pursuit of adventure. The memory of that fateful day haunted not only Jack's loved ones, but also those who had witnessed the incident. In the wake of Jack's death, his girlfriend struggled to accept the irrevocable loss. Returning home, 
she faced the unenviable task of informing Jack's family about the tragedy that had befallen their beloved son. The news, when relayed, was met with disbelief and grief, casting a somber pall over the once vibrant household. As the details of Jack's shark attack circulated through various media channels, the incident served as a stark reminder of the unpredictable and sometimes perilous nature of adventure. Jack's untimely demise became a cautionary tale, prompting discussions on safety measures for water-related activities and increased awareness about the potential dangers lurking in seemingly serene environments. Despite the passage of time, the memory of Jack's tragic adventure in the summer of 2008 remained etched in the collective consciousness. The story of a young man's love for the sea, which turned fatal, served as a poignant reminder that, in the pursuit of adventure, one must tread cautiously, respecting the unpredictable forces of nature that can abruptly alter the course of a seemingly idyllic day by the shore. In 2002, the turning pages of Mexican history bore witness to a poignant chapter centered around a spirited and adventurous young woman named Sarah. For a time, she found solace and warmth within a loving family, but tragedy struck when her husband passed away, plunging her into grief and self-imposed seclusion within the confines of her room. Concerned for Sarah's well-being, her family, in collaboration with friends, devised a plan to lift her spirits, leveraging her love for adventure, particularly in the world of surfing. Despite initial hesitations, Sarah's best friend convinced her to join an outing to the seaside on a serene Sunday, the 8th of March. Little did they know that this seemingly rejuvenating escapade would take a tragic turn, altering the course of their lives forever. The week preceding the outing was a mix of work and anticipation. On a Saturday night, Sarah readied her surfing gear, packing a bag filled with memories and the promise of a revitalizing experience. As Sunday dawned, friends gathered at Sarah's home, embarking on a journey that held the potential for profound change. The atmosphere buzzed with excitement as they reminisced about shared moments. Upon reaching the seaside destination, Sarah, facing the vast expanse of the sea, felt a flood of memories. She clutched her surfboard, a cherished relic echoing with laughter in the presence of her late husband. Entering the water, Sarah surfed with unwavering focus, immersed in the nostalgia of her past. Unbeknownst to her, the serene waters harbored three formidable tiger sharks, silently observing her solitary journey. The first inkling of danger manifested as a subtle impact on her board. Dismissing it initially, Sarah continued riding the waves, lost in the reverie of her past. However, the gentle nudges transformed into a persistent presence. To her horror, three tiger sharks, massive and awe-inspiring, circled her board. Her friends, witnessing the unfolding danger, urgently called for help from the seaside authorities. The once idyllic scene transformed into a desperate race against time. As the helpline staff reached the location, the reality was grim. The waters were stained red with blood and there was no sign of Sarah except for her drifting surfboard. The friends, clinging to hope, could not fathom the idea of losing their dear companion. The truth, however, was stark. The tiger sharks had launched a brutal attack on Sarah, causing irreparable harm. The once vibrant and adventurous girl succumbed to the merciless assault, her body torn apart by the relentless jaws of the predators. The news of Sarah's tragic fate devastated her family and friends. The unimaginable circumstances of her passing made the grief worse. The sea, once a source of solace and joy, had become the stage for a harrowing and fatal encounter. Sarah's friends, unable to reconcile with the loss, carried the weight of her memories with them. The joyous moments shared in the past now serve as a poignant reminder of a life cut short. The news of her demise spread shockwaves through the community, leaving an indelible mark on those who had known her. In the wake of this tragedy, Sarah's once carefree and adventurous spirit became a poignant tale of the unpredictable and unforgiving nature of the sea. Her friends, forever haunted by the memory of that fateful day, vowed to cherish every moment and honor Sarah's legacy by sharing her story as a cautionary reminder of the untamed beauty and inherent dangers beneath the ocean's surface. The incident prompted discussions about ocean safety and the need for increased awareness regarding the potential dangers that lurk in the depths. Sarah's friends, in their determination to ensure her death was not in vain, 
became advocates for beach safety, collaborating with local authorities to implement measures that would prevent similar tragedies. In the following months, memorials and fundraisers were organized in Sarah's honor. The community, deeply affected by the loss, supported one another. The tragic events of that fateful Sunday had permanently altered the once carefree seaside town, which now bore the weight of a gloomy reality. As news of Sarah's story spread beyond the local community, it became a symbol of the delicate balance between the allure of nature and its inherent dangers. Articles and documentaries were produced, exploring the complexity of human interactions with the ocean and the unpredictable behaviors of its inhabitants. Sarah's friends shared their first-hand accounts in interviews and public appearances. They emphasized the need for education and awareness, encouraging people to embrace the beauty of the sea while respecting its potential for danger. The legacy of their lost friend lived on in these efforts, a testament to the enduring impact of a single life. The tale of Sarah served as a stark reminder that, even in beauty and tranquility, nature can unleash its ferocity. The sea, once a source of solace for Sarah, became the backdrop for an unforeseen tragedy, forever altering the lives of those who knew her. As time passed, the memory of Sarah became a guiding force for the community. Her friends, driven by a sense of responsibility, continued their advocacy for ocean safety, working tirelessly to ensure that others would not have to endure a similar tragedy. Scarred but resilient, the once carefree seaside town united in their commitment to honoring Sarah's memory. In remembering Sarah, the community not only mourns a life cut short, but also embraces the opportunity to prevent future tragedies and foster a profound appreciation for the delicate balance between humanity and the untamed forces of the ocean.